let's talk about the Levels Adjustment Tool. I have this photo. It's not very good of a photo, but it's going to work good enough to um, show you how to do this technique. Um, where the subject was backlit, the light was um, brighter in the sky behind him, so his face was in the shadow, and the camera exposed for the sky and everything in the background, leaving my subject too dark. So normally this would be a, a picture that would be tossed out. But let's say that this is the only shot that you have and you want to see if you can salvage it. So what you're going to do is try to work on it in the Levels um, dialog box. So go over here to the um, Layers palette and click on the half black, half white circle. And that's going to give you um, some choices and just scan up to the Levels choice there. Now we have our le levels in our um, layers palette. Using the layers dialog box, and you may, um, in lower versions of uh, Photoshop with Creative Suite, you'll get a pop out, freestanding pop out box. So this will work the same way. Um, you're just going to um, play with these sliders down here to fix the colors. Now everything that is on the left side is going to work with the blacks or the darker tones and everything on the right is going to work with the whites or your bright tones and then the center is your mid-tones. So I like to start with the mid-tone slider and just kind of pull up my exposure a little bit and then once I feel like it's pulled up um, it washes out the subject, so I'm going to go to the black and add just a little bit more darkness black in. That's adding some contrast. Then I can go over to my white slider and just brighten it up just a little bit more. Now, you may have a different, um, find you like doing it a different way, adjusting maybe the brightness first. It doesn't matter, but that's just my way that I like to do it. So that looks much better. You can see the before and the after. So now we can actually see he's, um, his face. But in the process we have washed away the beautiful blue sky and the color of the ocean and the trees and grass when we brought up all of our levels. So let's put those back. In the layers palette you'll see this white box on the layer, the levels layer. That is um, where we're going to be working at. It's a layer mask. So what you're going to do is select your brush tool over here or you can hit the B on your keyboard and you're just going to um, go to the color picker down here hit D and that will put it back to default black and white in case you had some colors over there um, and then hit X so the black is on top. Black will reveal what's underneath our um, layer levels process here and white will conceal. So let me show you more about that. So we're going to click on um, the mask, bring our brush over, remember hitting the left and right brackets, open our brush up, make the size bigger, and I have my opacity set to 100% and I'm just going to start painting over the picture and you'll notice how, because I have black selected, I'm revealing the background picture. I'm revealing what's underneath this layer um, down below. So let's get back some of the wood and the ocean and the sky. And you can already see our picture is starting to look much better here. Make my selection just a little bit smaller so I can get in here and I am using um, sort of a, a soft brush not a hard edged brush so I can I'm actually getting a little bit of a, a bleed through onto his shirt and skin but that's okay because we're gonna go back and be able to fix that in just a minute so here we go we've got this all set and Looks like I missed a part of the ocean here. Nope. Okay. All right. Once you have it how you like it, just hit the little eye, and you can see that the sky now is exactly like it was in the original photo before we adjusted it. 
and now the layers is only affecting the subject. So now let's just say that we accidentally um, got onto the shirt when we were restoring and we've made that just too dark over there. So that's when white would work. So you're just going to click the little switch here or you could hit X on your keyboard and have white. Now when you paint with white it's going to restore back um, the technique that you used and in this case it was our layer levels adjustment. So if we want to remove the adjustment we we paint with white. White conceals and black reveals. Black paint with black if you want to reveal what was underneath the adjustment layer. So now we have a much better picture that is salvageable. This was the before and this is the after.